Hi, this is Jason from Effective Maintenance Dashboards and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to focus on adding a grand total to a stacked column chart. So let me see how, let me show you how, how this works. So these are simple uh, column charts and it may be that at some point you want to break these down by another dimension. So if I go in and look at another category, so if I go and let's choose this one at the bottom actually. So we'll make it slightly bigger and we'll move that up. And if I want to go and break down the count of backlog um, and days group, backlog days grouping, and I want to break this down by priority. So I want to see that split by priority. What I can do is I can change it to uh, d -d -d this one here, a start column chart. So I've changed it to the start column chart. Now it doesn't look like as much changed here, but what it does is it adds in this option to add a, a legend. So I'm going to go and add a legend in here called priority. And we can see it's split this by priority. Okay, so Sometimes this is a, lo a little bit difficult sometimes to understand to see the difference between these proportion and different proportions between these, but sometimes they can be useful. And I'll go and um, just change the colors here because I like to do that. So let's just change these colors and we'll make them a little bit more in keeping with the color scheme we've got. Okay, so we can see these colors here. And we've got a legend, priority one, two, three, four, and we can see those those there, so you can, see, you can see the split. Now, it's difficult then to see what the total is. You've got to you've got to add these up. So that's 46, and then let's move this just under 40 there. If you add 140, 240. So you're kind of guessing, and you're, you're adding a cognitive load to the user of the dashboard. So you want to just put a total at the top here and also leave these split values as well. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to change the graph type, first of all, to this one here, which is a line and stat column chart. So again, there'll be a couple of little changes, not too much. It adds a bit of a background to the, to the data labels, um, but it gives us the functionality we need to be able to go and add that total at the top. So. First things first, let's go and we will sort the existing data labels out. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to go to data color, uh, data labels here. And we're going to change the color of these labels to white. I'd like them to be white or at least a, a light color. So we'll choose this color here. It's not going to look particularly great there, but that's fine. We'll sort that in a minute. Um, and then we're just going to work down here. Display units is fine. Decimals is fine. Orientation is horizontal. Position, we want them to be at the base. Inside base. Because I want to get as much space between these values here and the total that's going to be shown at the top here. Okay, so just working our way down. Show background, so we want to take the background off. And here we can see we've got the values there. These ones are probably a little bit um, a bit on the light side, so we might want to change that, but we can do that later. And then we are going to be heading over to now add an additional line in here. So we've sorted these columns out. So what I want to do is go in here and add in the backlog count as a line as well as the column values. So if I just go and select this backlog count, and add it in here. And that's going to add a line. Okay, so we're going to go back here, go back to our data labels, we'll do this first. And we're going to go down here and we've customized this series here, but we want to make sure these values here, like we can't actually see the values. So we're going to go into customize series. And in here, we've got the option to go and customize individual series. So we're going to choose the battle count. Show is on color. So I'm going to change this color to this darker color here. And then I'm going to position, set the position to above. 
So here we can see it's starting to come together now. And then we're going to go, and I think that's enough for data labels. So the next thing we've got to do is just get rid of this line. So to do that, we're going to go into shape and we're going to go to stroke width and set that to zero. And you can see we've got rid of that shape. So now we've got the total at the top and we've got the individual values for each of the different segments of the start column. Now, as a final um, final touch, what you can do is add a marker. So let's come down here, show marker. We'll switch that to on. And what I think looks quite smart is if you put change this to a triangle and change the color to the same color as this top data segment. So I think there's this color here. And it just kind of points to the number and makes it look as if we've got a draws attention to this number and makes it look like we're pointing at the number and it's got a little marker there. Okay, so if you are interested in, hopefully you found this helpful and hopefully you can use it. You wouldn't want to use this approach here if we were splitting the values by a different category for more than four. Maybe maybe four is even too much because it becomes a little bit like a pie chart and it's difficult to kind of see the difference between those. Three is fine. Two is probably good as well. Um, but yeah, if you do use this, then it is possible to add a total here. If you're interested in building this dashboard, if you look at the link below this video, you'll see a, um, a link to my free course on how to build this backlog analysis dashboard. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this, then hit the subscribe button. And that would really help me out. Okay, thanks for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.